Welcome to Inside Sim Racing and our review of the PlaySeat Challenge. The Challenge is the newest entry to the market from PlaySeat and it is a completely new approach to sim rigs. It comes in at $250 here in the US and is available nearly worldwide. The PlaySeat Challenge was made in particular for people who are short on space or don't take this hobby as serious as some. The Challenge is a suspended chair much like a piece of lawn furniture. It is then rigged with a pedal deck and a wheel holder. The framing is powder coated steel tubing and the seat is made of Alcantara suede and feels very nice to the touch. The angle of the seat can be adjusted by tightening and loosening the straps. In the end, it will accommodate drivers from 4 feet up to 7 feet tall. Focusing on the wheel deck, it attaches to the chair via a swinging arm. This arm lets you enter the rig and then bring down the wheel and lock it into position. The deck is built to accommodate all of the popular wheels on the market today. It is then adjustable in angle up and down. The pedal plate is as simple as it comes and is removable from the sim rig. It is two bars with padding to hold the pedals with the back plate to keep them from moving away from you. The challenge then comes with various pieces of Velcro to attach the pedals more firmly. There is no angle adjustment here, but you can extend and retract the pedal base for length adjustment. The play seat challenge comes nicely packed, weighing in at only 20 pounds. Once assembled and in collapsed position, it's only 49 inches tall, 29 and a half inches wide, and only 11 inches deep, making it very easy to fit into a closet or out of the way. When in the driving position, it measures out at 53 by 21 by 38 inches. The assembly of the PlaySeat Challenge is very straightforward and there are only a few simple steps. The main base is pre-assembled and you just attach the seat to the base. Work the Velcro straps into position and the seat portion is good to go. Next, just attach the wheel arm to the base and swing it down into position. From here, the mounting of the wheel is simple as it is pre-drilled for all of the big name wheels. The pedal plate is also simple. Just place your pedals down and throw the Velcro strap around them. Pull out the little kickstand to prevent the rig from falling over and you're good to go. Okay, so now you've heard everything about this rig. Wheel stand. What, what is this thing? Contraption, lawn chair contraption. We, we really can't call it a sim rig or chassis. No. It's not a wheel stand. No, well, it kind of is. So it's like right in the middle. We, we have to like create a new category for this it thing. Is. It's very unique, and that's actually one of the things that I think makes it so special. Sim racing chair. <laughs> anyway, now we're gonna tell you what we thought of this contraption and uh first of all let's start with the price 250 um i guess since it's a kind of right in the middle it's actually priced properly more than a wheel stand equal to some wheel stands right like a grandstand yeah 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 uh a little more pricey i think than the csl seat though um i think so and yeah i mean and that's getting into that rig price yes so or at least that very bottom level rig pricing yeah. But like you said, I think it's a fair price. So at first I thought it was pricey, to be honest with you. But then once we really got it set up and got even a T500 mounted on it. I was amazed. <laughs> I was amazed that they even drilled this thing for the T500, but they did. And it's pretty, it's fairly solid. Well, let's talk about stability now. Um, we're going to jump all over the place here. We're going to make it, you know, concise. Uh, this thing's a lot more stable than I expected. Mm -hmm. It's got some deck bounce. Well, 
I mean, just for starters, when you consider that all there is is this swinging arm. Which, which I dig. E it's not even a hinge. It's just a telescoping tube with a little uh, coupler. And then it just locks into position. That's it. Yeah. But I was expecting a lot more movement. But it doesn't have deck wobble this way. No, none. It's got, I mean, like, none. Yeah, it's got bounce. So it'll bounce on you like that. <laughs> um, but... Uh, it, it, I can't believe how stable it is considering the, the design. Now, let's talk about comfort too. Okay. You know, this is, we're talking about the CSL seat by Fnatic and I was imagining this thing to be in, which is not uncomfortable. It's considering it, it looks like a lawn chair. Again, we are amazed. Modeled after a real race car seat. Man, these things are comfortable. This one's kind of like a hammock. Yeah. It's like kind of just hanging the, 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 the Alicantara between the, the, the framing and I mean, but it's like contorts to your body because of that. Your body just makes it the shape it's going to be. And Sean mentioned the Alcantara. It's got, that, it's got a nice feel to it and good padding. So it's, it's a nicely padded seat. Uh, something completely different than what we're used to seeing from play seat. So we can't even really comp compare it to other play seat products. No center post. Yeah. Which got to tell you, that's one thing I don't like about the play seats, but doesn't even exist on this yeah. thing. So, uh, so what else we got? Adjustability. Let's talk about adjustability yeah, and driving say, position. That's kind of part of the comfort too. I mean, you have these straps that allow you to kind of lay it out into that Formula One position, which got me closer to where I like. I wasn't quite that blue haired lady with the- Looking over the wheel. Yeah, because if I put my GT wheel on right now, it'd be We got a shot of you doing that. Obstructing me. Yeah. Or you can go a little more upright. So that's kind of cool. The pedals, pedals move in and out. Yeah, and again, we're talking from me to you, and and actually, they say from four feet to seven feet. So I mean, I'd see that. Yeah, because I'm six foot four. It's got this adjustability on the wheel deck, which is which is cool. I I when you adjusted it while you went to drive, I forgot it had that, and you were almost looking like the blue haired lady with this wheel. <laughs> then you went <laughs> put it back in place, and yeah, yeah, it was it, it fits you nicely. I would say that ultimately I got it within 85, 90% of the range of where I would have wanted my stuff. My wheel deck wasn't exactly where I wanted, but the angle was right. It was not perfect distance, not perfect height, but it was close. Now, is it too close to your chest? Now it is. When I was laid out in the Formula One position. I didn't try it that way, so I'll, I'll have to try it, it that way. It, it actually put it out there. And it probably would have put me, actually you were leaning forward a little bit. I did, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so yeah, up like this, the wheel, it's workable and actually for like a NASCAR style where you're like up on, you want it up on your chest anyway, probably, for the yeah. most part, it'd probably be perfect. My arms are probably a little bit longer too, so I needed a little more space in there, but it, I was comfortably driving it. Very much so. Uh, great as a console rig. Now, if you're looking for this as the hardcore guy, no, this is not. Maybe if you're just starting out and want to transition into something like that, sure, this is a great starter, but even for the guy that has this, that wants to race on the console, like, you know, I enjoy racing Gran Turismo, Forza, that kind of stuff. So this is a perfect setup. Absolutely. You can fold it up. And legitimately, we've had other rigs or even wheel stands that you, you think you could fold them up. They're so heavy and, and cumbersome that you don't. This, I mean, I detached the pedals, folded this right up, and it went right in the closet. Piece of cake. I mean, 30, 40 pounds total. So let's talk about the pedals and how they're attached which we don't have sitting here, but we're gonna show you some footage of. Now, and when I first saw the design of this thing or concept, I was like, well, how the heck are you gonna attach the pedals? It was kind of laughable, wasn't it? I mean- Yeah, but it works great. It works awesome. <laughs> yeah, you just basically just strap the pedals on, any type of pedals, yeah, it seems. It would work with anything. I mean, yeah. the way they have that padding what underneath- about club sports? Well, where this wheel is away. I mean, yeah, absolutely. You could, yeah, you do that strap underneath to the back feet or to the back of the front feet. They actually had extra Velcro too, so you could have done some double stick with that tie around. It was Surprisingly versatile yeah. for how little you get. Well, and they had the backing plate. Oh, that might not line up with the club sport pedals either. Uh, so, but again, you know what this seat's really made for? The DFGT. Yes. It is a perfect starter seat for somebody that's got the, the Logitech Driving Force GT or maybe even the the, the Thrustmaster F430 or even yeah. the base model of the Fanatic stuff. Yeah. Get a CSR pedals and yeah. the CSR, you know. In, in all three of those cases, when you do go to fold it up, you leave the pedal base on, it flips up, holds them on, and I mean, then you're only talking 30 pounds for everything, including the pedals, and very easy to move around. Yep. Let's talk about the looks really quick. 
Um, again, this one at first, I was just, my expectations were low. At first I was like, oh, that's gonna look kind of weird. When I got it in front of my TV in the living room, I was like, oh, that's cool. nice looking little living room rig. And that is a quality cover. Yeah, and the it's stitching. It's high quality. Yeah, the stitching, the padding. Yeah, it's not cheap. No. No. And even the way they Velcro strapped it all together, I was like, what? What's these with these straps? And when I first sat in it, it's like, you know, it's got that Velcro sound to it, but. Well, and the whole getting in and out, which it, again, at first I thought was kind of weird and rickety, but it, once I got used to that, it's kind of like getting into your little private race car and, and then even, you know, uh, seat belting yourself in, so to speak. High quality pedal or uh, uh, wheel deck too. You know, it's, it is adjustable, like we mentioned with this knob here. But it had it drill points for everything, mm -hmm. slots, and I mean, it was a really nice quality uh, wheel deck, too. This was really thought out from start it to was. finish. As simple as it looks, it's one of the most complete, fully developed designs I've ever seen. Very nicely engineered. Yeah. So, you know, I've really kind of told you all my final thoughts. I don't have a lot more to say other than how surprised I was. We put the this big, gigantic wheel on it. It held up to it. Yes, it will fall over, so. Yes. You know. Well, it's got that little stability. Uh, the kickstand. Yeah, the kickstand, we can call it. <laughs> but in the end, I found it to be more comfortable, more adjustable, and, and a great driving position. Again, you said it. This isn't going to take the place of a hardcore sim racer's rig. No. But if you live in a tiny apartment in New York, if you your parents don't want a sim rig in the living room, if you live in a lot of foreign countries where we don't have the space that we have here, this is going to be the answer for a lot of people in that boat. Yep. Anybody getting into sim racing, I would recommend this as an entry level rig because of the cost, because of the adjustability, and then if you really do become a hardcore sim racer, you're obviously going to go to a dedicated rig. Well, and this is basically play seats answer to a wheel stand in my opinion, and when you have a wheel stand, you need a chair. Mm -hmm. So and a lot of times you're pulling it up to the couch or a desk chair and that doesn't work. Right. I mean, a chair like this works pretty good. This thing was like, I don't know, 50 bucks. Right. So you're looking at 50 bucks plus the cost yeah. of a wheel stand anyway. So you might as well get something that adjusts all together with it. Yeah. You can put away in the closet. Yeah. Bam. And then we put this right in front Bam! of the big TV. I mean, just like that, right in front of the big TV. Exactly. Which was really cool. It was a cool setup. Now, are we going to put it in front of this? No. That'd be ridiculous. But. Yeah. It's a great starter rig, great for console racing, that kind of stuff. So let's rev it up. Um, rev scale, this is an easy one for me. This is a nine out of 10. It is. Now, if we're gonna compare it to hardcore rigs, no, this isn't a nine. But considering this is the only thing of its kind in its spot in our market, for what it does, it's, it's definitely nine out of 10. I agree with that yeah. 100%. So the things that it doesn't do, I mean, the only fault I can really give it is that the, the, the pedals can't be raked, but I could solve that myself. Um, it's a little bit wobbly, but at the price, it is what it is. I mean, and that, I, I, that bounce wobble is a lot better and easier to deal with than the, the side to side where the thing just yeah. feels like it's going to come out of your hands. I, like Sean said, he's like, did you feel that thing moving when you were driving? I said, no, I didn't, didn't even really think about it. So it, it, it's a go with the flow bounce. It's yeah. not like going to jump out of your hands. Absolutely. But yeah, I agree with that nine. So if you're interested in checking these out, you can go to playseat.com. I'd like to thank Justin at Playseat USA for hooking us up with the uh, Playseat Challenge. And you know what, Justin? I don't think we ever checked out that F1 rig. They should get that over here as well. I, I agree. So Justin, come on now. Let's see that, uh, that F1 Red Bull rig over here. We want to check that thing out. So that's going to do it. Again, for our review of the Play Seat Challenge, visit us at isrtv.com. Lots of other chassis reviews, wheel stand reviews. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. For Sean Cole, I'm Darren Ganji. We'll see you guys next time.